The Bangsamoro Organic Law laid the foundations of the Bangsamoro Parliament. It shall be composed of 80 members unless otherwise increased by the Philippine Congress. Party representatives will occupy 40 seats or half of the available seats in Parliament. District representatives will occupy 32 seats representing 40%, while 8 seats or 10% are allotted for sectoral representatives. The members of Parliament will be elected by voters in the BARM. Qualified voters should be Philippine citizen, not otherwise disqualified by law, 18 years of age or over, resided in the Philippines for one year, and resided in any city or municipality in the Bangsamoro region wherein he proposes to vote for at least six months immediately preceding the election. How do we elect our district representatives? The Bangsamoro region will be divided into 32 districts. The districts are created based on population and geographical area. Each district shall be contiguous, compact, and adjacent. Each district shall have a population of at least 100,000. Voters in each district will vote on who they want as their representative in parliament. The candidate receiving the most number of votes will gain one out of the 32 seats in parliament. How do we elect the remaining 50%? Party seats are awarded based on proportional representation. This means that the number of seats a party will receive will be in proportion to the percentage of votes received in the elections. To participate, parties must first register as a BARM regional party with the Bangsamoro Electoral Office. Each party must also submit its list of 40 nominees. But how does this look like? For example, we have six parties competing in the BARM parliamentary elections. Out of 100,000 votes, each party receiving the following votes. Party A, 70,500. Party B, 9,800. Party C, 4,400. Party D, 6,000. Party E, 8,200, and Party F, 1,100. The first step is to get the percentage of votes each party obtained. In our example, Party A, with 70,500 votes out of 100,000, gets 70.5%, while Party F, with 1,100 votes, only gets 1.1%. In proportional representation, it is common to set a minimum percentage of votes received for parties. In this example, the minimum threshold is 2.5%. In this case, Party F is disqualified, as it only received 1.1% of the votes. The next step is to determine the ratio of each party by multiplying the percentage of votes with the total seats available, which in the case of the Bangsamoro Parliament is 40. These are the corresponding ratios of the parties. The whole integer shall then be the initial number of seats allocated to each party. With this, there is now a total of 37 allocated seats. The decimals, regarded as the residuals, will determine the allocation of the remaining seats. The remaining seats shall be distributed by rank. The party with the highest residual receives the first seat until all seats are distributed. In this case, there are three seats available so the parties with the top three residuals will gain an additional seat. Total seats allocated per party is as follows. This is the process laid out in the bill currently filed in the BTA. Other parts of the bill provide Number 1. Zipper list of nominees. This requires the list of nominees submitted to alternate between male and female. Number 2. Requiring parties to have a wide regional presence. Number 3. Public funding for party development. And number four, requiring ballots to have candidate photos and logos.